Here at E3, we announced the Xbox Elite wireless controller. What we did was we took the basic controller we have today, added on to it, and improved it. I think the first comment I always get is, it's heavier. And it is. Most of the things we've added are steel. When you add these higher quality parts, you're going to add weight. This controller, you're not breaking. It's built tough, it's built strong, and it's not going to wear. Going back to when we're working with pros and top level gamers, people that put in the serious hours, one of the biggest complaints is there's a wear out issue. When I was competing, I would go through a controller every three months. The wear and tear from the analog sticks would just make your controller really grind around the edges. So your analog stick wouldn't be able to like have that smooth transition when you're aiming at someone. What we did was we actually inserted this low friction material into the top housing that when mixed with the steel, you get almost no wear. The feel is a buttery smooth feel. When I first started using the controller, I was a bit skeptical. Once I gave it a shot, I realized how big of an advantage it would give me. You can do so much with it and map so many buttons a different way. There's no controller out there like this. There will be a Xbox Elite adjustability application that will come with this. It'll be something that works on your console and you can directly communicate with it. That is how you'll remap the controller. You will be able to adjust your ABXYs, your digital inputs, your D-pads, your bumpers, your triggers will all be able to be remapped. We will actually store everything on the controller itself. It's not stored in the console, which means there's no lag. Anything you adjust in the application, you can then save it, name it. Not only can you have the one profile on here, you can actually save two. You can have one called Halo Run and Gun and one called Halo Warthog. You simply move the key the other direction within a single duty cycle, which means instantaneously you're faster than you can move the switch. It'll already move over the new key mapping, zero lag. As soon as you're out of the Warthog, pop it back over, you're back to Run and Gun. When we started this, we started from day one, going to actual top leaderboard people's houses, did interviews, watched them play, record them, asked them how they would use it. Then we actually went to the pros. We said, what would you do? What would improve your game? What would take you to the next level? There's a lot of variety. You're not told this is the only way you can do it. Even with the paddles, there's elongated paddles that you can use. The idea of having paddles is you want to keep your grip where it is, specifically your thumbs. You know, in most games we're playing today, you're using both thumb sticks and you never want to take them off. Most of us on the pro team will set this top left paddle to the X button. That's the ability for thrust when you're playing on bumper jumper. So we're able to hit the paddle in the back and keep that smooth transition on our opponent. We really went overboard, we think, on everything to say, what would make it fit for you as an individual gamer? The customization is endless. There's thousands of ways you can set up this controller. There is four paddles. There's two that we call the shorters and two that we call the longs. That's these ones down here. Hair triggers is a new thing that we added where it's a physical travel with 50% travel. Simply put, it's a mechanical stop. What that gives you is not only does it shorten the distance, but there's actually, because there's a hard wall behind it, it gives you a slight rebound. Then it'll come with two D-pads, one this multi-facet one, as well as the traditional cross. They are replaceable, they are removable, they're swappable, you can do them however you want. It's the same with the thumbsticks. You can pop these off and you can place in an elongated thumbstick and that'll actually help you to move less and have that perfect precision aim across the map if you're trying to snipe somebody. We're going to sell it with different shapes. We're going to work with partners to have different shapes. It does work the same way they always have, which means you still have a digital input, full analog movement. You're letting yourself tweak it just a little bit to give you that edge so you feel better, you play better. If you take a great piece of equipment, you tailor it just slightly for your individual needs versus the mass needs, you can now take your game to your personal next level. Anyone can benefit from that. You don't have to just be a professional gamer. However, there is a growing market for esports. There is a growing market for competitive play. What we built here, we believe can do both. We're really, really excited to launch this. I think from day one, ground up, we designed this with the pros and the aspirational esport enthusiasts in mind. It's not about how Microsoft or Xbox is telling you how to play. It's not how a game title is telling you how to play. It's customizable to the way you want it for the way you play.